The following video is rated YouTube HM for excessive Hardy Man. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back everyone, Hardy Man here, back in Hard Times of Minecraft. And last episode we were able to finish off this. Well not completely. We still I still wanna uh push it out at least one more so I can have the entrance way that I wanted, but we could do that later. Today we're gonna start on this guy over here and I got some of the stuff for it probably going to do a little bit of running around to try to, to get it all accomplished but let's go ahead and start digging this stuff out so it's this is this block right here is still going to be uh, smooth stone until we figure out what this hallway is going to look like and these are actually going to be the uh, stone slabs so we're going to wait on that, but for right now we can go ahead and go back, I believe it's nine, nine blocks from right here, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what is this, nine, hmm. I don't know, I might have found some coal here or something. I don't know. Uh, do I want to use the breaker of many things? It has them breaking on it, right? I guess, why not? Just to speed this process along a little bit. And there we go. Also got to make it three high or whatever, so we have a, a lot of headroom. Yeah, I must have, like, found some coal or something above this and had to dig down. Although we are... That is our entrance way down there. Hopefully... Yeah, that, that should be the, the longest it needs to be. So we shouldn't run into any of the redstone, hopefully. Okay, so from here, uh, the actual entrance will be four, and then it's going to open up. So one, two, three, four. So then it's going to open up by two blocks on either side. Let's open up all that. There we go. And do the same over here. There we are. Line it up on our block. Making sure everything is correct so we don't have to do that much replacing of blocks. Okay. Now, uh, let me put some torches down just so nothing will spawn. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Oh, we gotta place that. But Well, really, I'm gonna break that wall out anyway to put up the nether brick because I'm thinking this entire room is basically going to be made out of nether brick and nether brick stairs um, this hallway I'm going to change it up a little bit and have a uh, nether brick with uh, some nether rack on the floor uh, but that's going to progressively get into the actual room which will be basically all nether brick on the, on the bottom uh, and actually we could probably to save some of it because I, I made a what was it four? Yeah, I smelted up four stacks of netherrack and got fifty-one plus the the, the amount needed to make those stairs, which was like thirty-six, I want to say. Uh, so yeah, we're we're definitely low on that. I I don't have any more of it cooking, so it it would take some time to get more if we needed it, but. Let's see here. Uh, we can dig up this floor at least for right now. And I'll go and put in the nether rack. And we can see if we need to make nether, uh, nether brick slabs. It may behoove us to do that. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, I kind of want at least some uh, of the brick in here. Uh. Maybe that many. So it's, it'll come in through here, but it'll still be all in there. Uh, so let's see here. 
putting that back. Uh, I think I may need to do that just so we have enough. Because, uh, see, how big is this room again? 7 by 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh wait, one, two, three. Oh wait, we don't we don't count this crap. Uh, one, two, three. Oops. So we actually need to put filler in right there. Right? Yeah. Filler. And we'll need to, I guess, move this up by one. Because, yeah, it's four total for the entrance. Uh, let's see, where's that at? Let's get that back. Let's put this down, I guess. What it what was it? This and, like, two right here or something? Uh, that. Something like that. Possibly. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this, that's what confused me. We said that we're, these were going to be the slabs. Okay. My mistake. I'm confused. So, that's going to be the floor. Uh, so, the walls, starting from here this time, uh, are going to be a mixture of the stone. Or, not stone. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a mixture of the nether brick and nether brick stairs with a piece of glowstone in the center ish and it's four there's no center so it's kind of in the middle ish sort of uh, let's see get that off there and I'm gonna have it like this like that oh did not mean to make it like that oh well, this one also had to leave and one right there there we go now we're going to have one right there, uh, one right there, and one right there. We don't need a shovel right now, and there. So that's basically what the walls are going to look like on these two interest ways. Just thought I would, you know, add some stairs in there for a little bit of something different uh, to the entire thing. Which, I mean, it, it looks okay. I, it's better than just having a plain wall. Uh, and I mean, you, you, we're, you're gonna, you're gonna have some type of color. I'm probably gonna make this, uh, I guess a darker color hallway with whatever clay I decide to put in the back, uh, just so it kind of matches with this side. So, i to look at that. Uh, so we're gonna do the same over here, take out this wall. And, let's see... Gotta do the exact same thing basically over here, so that, uh, that up there, that down there, and that. Boom. So that's our hallway into the, uh, you know, brewing area. This is the actual brewing area. Uh, so, standard stuff again, we're just gonna have the f three walls right here. Uh, I'm going to have to do the ceiling as well. And let's see. How many is that going to be? Because we're going to have right here, right here, and right here are going to be three pieces of glowstone to help light the room so we don't actually need torches. Uh, but we're going to have to have uh, actual, like, solid blocks above them, and going down right there. So, we may need to actually go get some more, um, actual nether brick blocks. Uh, because we're going to have to do the ceilings and the bottom, and that looks like it's probably going to take a lot. Uh, but we can go and try to get that done and see how much it actually takes. Let's see here. That. And then this one is actually going to be two. It's, uh, ooh, it's a fishy one. Let's do that one. Ooh, it breaks so much faster. 
Uh, so we're going to do that. And do, doing the same thing. Having those up there and then those inverted. And then finally the same thing over here. As it was on the other side. Those normally and those inverted. Uh, gotta go get our glowstone. Hop back over here. Put that in there. We can get rid of these torches now. Because it should all basically be lit up. Uh, the only part that needs to be lit up is kind of in the center. Which we'll just have one of those. And did I bring the broom stand? I did. And that is what the brewing stand will be sitting on. So, now what we have to do is, I guess, fill in some of this stuff. And actually make it look a little bit nicer. Right now, it's got this whole broken cobblestone and, and stone look to it. That's not really what I'm going for, so try to break out the walls a little bit and put in all all this that we have like I said probably gonna need to go get some more because uh, it looks like we're not gonna have enough yeah we're definitely not gonna have enough I'll probably only have enough to get through with this wall if that So, let's see how far it's going to take us. Oh, it got down with this wall, but that's basically it. Uh, how much do we have? We have nine. Okay. Well, then I'm going to finish off this at, with the, what I have. And I'm going to go smelt up some more uh, netherrack into the nether brick. And I will come back over here once I've done that so we can finish this off together. And hopefully it's enough. I may actually have to count it. If I do have to count it, then that's just going to be uh, some extra time. Uh, which, I mean, really doesn't really matter to you. Because it's just going to be a jump cut. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. So I went ahead and smelted up a stack's worth of nether brick uh, actual blocks. And... Pretty sure that this is gonna work. Hopefully, uh, I know that we need like 12 for the actual walls, and then the rest should be able to be used for the remainder of the floor and the actual ceiling. So, hopefully, it's enough. There we go. There's the 12 now for the actual floor. Uh, we're gonna go like that, leaving the space right there, and right here, and right here. Uh, I'll show you what that's for in a moment. Uh, apparently I'm pretty short for the floor. Just to make sure I'm not gonna, like, convert all those into slabs, just in case I need some for something else, which actually I do for that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't just convert all those, uh, into slabs. Because then, I well, I guess I could have still made them into uh, normal blocks by doubling them up but uh, then I would know that, that that they would be like that and it would just be horrible so let's make that let's make two furnaces let's chop down this and we're back in here so let's see here those are the trap chests so we're gonna put these like so and like so, trap chests in between them. There we go. So those are going to be uh, what store our ingredients. I got two furnaces. So if we need to spelt up something while we're waiting for something to brew, we can do that. Uh, I don't know. I guess really the only thing that we'd be smelting in here would be gold for the glycerine melons and the golden carrot. Is that the only thing? Pretty sure. Hmm trying to think of what else takes a, something that needs to be smelted mm, nothing right off so we should be good right there so let me dig this out uh we're gonna need let's see we're gonna need oh we, we actually need to replace these with full blocks i guess 
I need to replace all of these with full blocks as well. Uh, cause this is gonna be our water supply, basically. Oh, we're gonna replace this one too. There we go. Uh, where's that? There, the bucket of water. There you go. Now, I, I tried to make it just where it goes straight down but and have a block right here, but it doesn't work for some weird reason. And have, like, it has, a, you know, an area down here that it can, it can flow to, but it really just wants to flow out and be out here with, with all of us. So that's the best that I could do. I mean, I guess I could inset it one more, but I don't know. I kind of like it flow down here like this. I don't know. If you if you have any comments, leave those down below. Uh, but let's see. I guess all I gotta do now is the ceiling, and we will be done. I don't have any more in there. Yeah. So let's make. I don't know what is this. This is a what five by seven room. So was that thirty five? And this is uh three by four twelve. So what would that be? 47-ish that we would need. So let's see if 48 will get us there. Hopefully we don't disturb any redstone like I said since we are fairly close. Did I get that or did that go in there into the abyss? Hopefully not. Uh, let's dig all this out. The only problem with that uh, water is that I cannot go through here without I'd have to like squeeze up against the the glowstone to actually like move through that area. Uh, it's just so funny. Uh, but yeah, after I get done with this, the only other thing that I have to do is put the actual stuff in the chest, like you know, make this room useful. Uh, and I had toyed around with also making like uh, an extension off of here to a like a nether wart. Uh, farm and stuff like that, but I think all that should probably be on the actual farming level uh, Which is I mean, it's just down below Is that right? Yeah, so it, it's not like we have to like crawl across like the entire base to get to it So it shouldn't be too bad of a you know walk to get to if we need some more nether ward or if we need uh, what, what else is in here? Uh, oh, like sugar cane or mushrooms for the the fermented spider eye. If we need any of that stuff, it shouldn't be that far away. So we should be okay. Hopefully. Again, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself, but it should be okay. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Ooh, I'm thinking now, seeing this, we also may... Since I am using this instead of like full blocks, I could actually. Where's my. There it is. Ooh, we barely have enough left over. Uh. Mm, we could probably do a design on the ceiling. Uh, let's not use the breaker of many things for right now. Let's see. Oh, there's another one. Uh, let's see. What can we do? We could probably do like a circle ish type thing let's see let's try to make it around that maybe so all of these would have to go I don't know how many that's gonna be hopefully it's not more than like eight I think that's how many we have right like left to make so yeah we can only make eight so hopefully this is enough there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Just barely enough. And boom. So, adds a little bit of something else to it. This was not in my original design. Just came to me whenever I was, you know, actually building this. And, I mean, it looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like a, uh, like a chimney for the little smoke particles. If, I guess if we, you know, knock that out and, which I guess we could. Hmm. Do we have any black wool? Let me go get some black wool. And we'll make it look like a chimney, almost. Uh, I think we have... 
maybe a few pieces. If not, I guess we I could just shear one of the, the sheep and, and get its wool. Let's see here. Do we have a black piece of wool? Uh, no. Uh, I need some shears. Come here, Mr. Black Sheep. Thank you for your wool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Something. I don't, I don't remember how that rhyme goes. Yeah, it's something. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about, people. Uh, it's that nursery rhyme. Oh, wait. This is actually gonna... Mm, do I want to do that? Hopefully. Let's see if it actually, like, breaks through the... To that. Eh, it kind of does. Eh. I'm fine with it, really. Uh. Too bad we don't have, like, slabbed glass. So I could put, like, a, a piece of black glass right there or something. Eh, I think that's pretty good. Let's take a step back and look at it. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have... What is it? Item frames, that's what they're called. On each of these chests, uh, you know, just to say what they are, like, uh, maybe water bottles, uh, what was it, like, glistening melons, stuff like that. On all these chests, so I have to go down and breed the cows and, and kill them, but... I'll do that all off camera, and I'll come back and, and show you it whenever I guess it's all done, which I guess that's really all we gotta do, so. Anyway, let's take a little step back. Man, it looks pretty good. I definitely like the addition of these uh, glowstone pieces instead of torches. I, I, I really like not using torches in, in, in as much as I can. Uh, kind of like this this is the only piece of light that you know is in this area I could take away this torch but then we'd have the the problem of mobs spawning like right here probably but yeah should be it for today hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you have any comments leave those down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel you may want to do that uh, hopefully this gets out on time uh, we had a little bit of interruptions uh, today from uh, a crew digging up the street and the yard and all this other stuff. Uh, that kind of set me back a little bit, but hopefully I can get it rendered and uploaded on time. If not, hopefully it's not too late. But anyway, hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.